Chess.com is here with Grandmaster Irina Crush after a disappointing round six draw against FM Alyssa Melikina. Irina, you seem quite disappointed with your play today. Mm -hmm. That's because I played badly, Mike. And uh, it seemed like you didn't really know your way in the opening there. Um, what went wrong? Um, that was a little hole in my preparation. Um, she had actually never played the Blumenfeld Gambit before and I didn't take a look at it before this game so I was just kind of left on my own um, and yeah I kind of paid the price for that in this game because I had to spend a lot of energy in the opening and the middle game and I really would have preferred Black's position um, for most of the game and um, yeah, by the time I got a winning position, I mean, there's no excuse, obviously, not to win a position where about 10 moves win the game for you um, for a period of about five moves. Um, but, you know, I was, I was in time trouble, and I'm not very good in those situations, so it's kind of, I'm not that surprised at the way this game went, and I um, feel rather fortunate that I didn't lose with such horrible play. Right, you played your 39th move with one second on your clock. And you didn't even see Rook takes h3. Yeah, at so, that point I didn't see it. I saw it when she was thinking about her 40th move. And you spent 12 minutes after the time control making sure that after g takes h3 you weren't losing. Um, tell us about what you saw to hold that position. Um, well, I think what I saw was enough for me to um, make the draw. Um, so she played the way I expected. The only critical thing, you know, it's, it's my king is very exposed and she won the h3 pawn, which is correct, um, with checks. And the only the critical thing, though, for her to make progress, it seems like she needs to get the queens off the board because her own king is exposed as well. So this move queen e3 was what I was spending my time on when she gets two pawns to the third rank. Um, and I was just trying to see, you know, can I hold that? And basically, I do hold that because in um, in all the lines, I can give up my rook for the two pawns, and the bishop is the wrong color square for the h pawn. She's got a dark squared bishop, and the remaining pawn, the h pawn, is uh, going to queen in a light square. So my king would get into the corner, and it would be a draw. Um, so yeah, I was kind of lucky that I wouldn't have to suffer too much there either. But overall, I think this game. Um, I'm not going to be mulling it over, actually. <laughs> Maurice was saying, like, I was still thinking about it. No, I'm going to forget about this game, um, you know, very quickly and I'm going to enjoy the rest day. I'm just going to try to, um, you know, get, get rid of that neck cramp <laughs> that I was talking about. And, um, and I'm happy to get this horrible game out of the way so that I can start to play better. Right, and uh, as we speak, Anna Satonsky, your main rival, is trying to convert her extra pawn. Should she win, you may end up going into your round eight encounter down a half point, a position you haven't been in a couple of years. Um, are you at least happy that you're giving the fans a very exciting moment where you might have to beat your main rival? You know, I mean, I'm going to yeah, I have the white pieces against Anna, so um, you know, whatever is the situation, I'm going to just try to play my best and obviously try to make something with the white pieces, play an interesting game. Um, so maybe I'll be down half a point. Um, well, life is not so easy. You know, sometimes you've got to overcome obstacles. Well, there you have it. Grandmaster Arena Crush, she has a pain in the neck, but she is not a pain in the neck. Thank you for joining us. For Chess.com, this has been FM Mike Klein.